Hello and welcome back to Fallout 76. Today I am on the public test server. There was an update today and one of the things that was addressed is the Endanger All Syringer. Now, the description on the Endanger All Syringer is it reduces the target's damage resistance by 25% for 120 seconds. Now, previously, this hasn't worked. I, I don't know if it's ever worked, but if it has, it's been a very long time. So in the live game, this effect is actually broken. So now that it's fixed, what I'm curious about, is this something that would be useful in a boss fight? So I'm waiting for the rubble to drop so I can go down and fight Earl Williams. And uh, yeah, we will see if this could be an effective tool when you are fighting bosses. Now for this, for the fight, I have unequipped anything that can give me variable damage numbers. So I've taken off follow through, which I normally would use. This character is a stealth commando. I've also removed tenderizer, I've taken off Adrenaline and Covert Operative as well. And I will be using the Awareness perk so I can actually view uh, what his resistance is and how it changes with the uh, Syringer. And the weapon I'll be using is a Handmade. It's just a quad, so I'm not getting any damage boost from any legendary effects, but it will help me uh, not have to reload so often. All right, and we will just do body, sh well, is there a body? Yeah, we'll do torso shots just for simplicity. So his ballistic resistance, oh, and that's another thing with the syringer, it only affects ballistic resistance. So if you're using a laser weapon, this isn't gonna help you at all, it will make no difference. It will only affect that first number, which is 134. So if I shoot him now, we're seeing I'm doing, I don't know what that first number was, that 120 number, so I'm doing seven. Seven damage, not very much. His resistance is quite high. Now, of course, if I was using perks, I would be getting a lot more, but uh, yeah, to get consistent numbers, that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to shoot him with the syringer, or at least I hope I am. So we shoot him with that, and as near as I could tell, this is actually a silenced weapon. And after the syringer, we can see his resistance is 100. So now I'm getting 8. Which, you know, the difference between 7 and 8 isn't much. I mean, that's only 1. <laughs> One point of damage, but percentage-wise, yeah, it's a 14% increase. So even though I'm doing small numbers, which of course, figure if you have if you have perks like follow through and sneak attack and you uh, covert operative, if you're using anti armor something like that, you know I've removed those perks. So yeah, a 14% increase is actually quite significant. So don't look at the numbers, look at the percent increase. And of course, you wouldn't shoot them in the body. So. Okay, so it looks like it's worn off. So let's do a headshot and see what the difference is there. Because normally that's what I would do. If I can hit him. Okay, so yeah, headshot's double. So I'm doing 14. Now if I shoot him with the syringer. Okay, so it's back down to 100. Okay, now I'm doing 15 damage. That doesn't seem to be quite as big of a boost. Hmm, maybe that's not so useful. I don't know. So 14 to 15. Yeah, so in that case, it was only a 7% difference between 14 to 15. So I've equipped Covert Operative since I am able to, I seem to be able to stay hidden. All my shots should be sneak attacks. I just want to see what the difference is there. So, okay, the Syringer has worn off. So a sneak attacks, I'm getting 17 damage. Now if we shoot him with a Syringer, I don't know if I hit him. We'll do another one just to be sure. Yeah, I hit him that time for sure. And where is he? There he is. 19. Okay, so we're going 17 to 19. Okay, that's almost a 12% difference. Okay, so now we're going to stack Overdrive and Psychotats on top of the sneak attacks. And let's see what our damage would be. All right, so we're doing 19 damage. The Syringer has worn off. Then if we debuff him, we go from 19 to 21. So it definitely does make a difference in terms of how much damage you're doing. Carrying a syringer with some syringes is no small thing. I mean, getting a 10% damage buff, you know, it's it's worth it for that, I think. Yeah, I don't know. I think this is interesting. I mean, I think that's that's the thing. I think this is an interesting element to bring to a boss fight. I think it's going to be fun to mess around with. And it's nice that this actually works, or at least it does right now on the PTS. Hopefully it will still be working when it rolls out with the update next month. When I saw this was updated today, I knew I just had to test it. And yep, I think further testing is required,
But so far, I think it's something that's interesting. Hopefully you found this video enjoyable. If you did, please hit one of the buttons down below and I hope you'll join me in the next one. Thank you very much.